In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a ghost voice effect. What is the ghost voice effect? Let's talk about it. Okay, real quick, because I know this is going to come up in the comments. While the ghost voice effect is possible to do in DaVinci Resolve, it's actually much easier to do in a standalone DAW, like Reaper or even Adobe Audition. There are a couple reasons for this. First, the audio effects in DaVinci Resolve are what are known as non-destructive, which means they're not baked in by default. Also, in order to create this effect, we need to be able to add silence to an audio clip, and there's not really a cut and dry way to do that, even in the Fairlight page. The way to fix both of these issues is to utilize audio layers. So in DaVinci Resolve, head up to Timeline in your top menu, select Timeline, and click on Layered Audio Editing. Okay, now we're ready to get started. Like I said, in order to create this effect, we need to add silence to the beginning of our clip. So the first step is to make room in our timeline for that silence. To do this, place your playhead at the beginning of the clip you want to apply this effect to. Hold down shift and press the right arrow on your keyboard five times. This will move the playhead forward five seconds. Then move your clip over so that the beginning of the clip is at the playhead. Then head to the Fairlight page. Our first step in the Fairlight page is to add the silence to the beginning of our clip. To do this, set an endpoint at the beginning of the blank section of your timeline that was created by moving your clip. Then place an out point at the end of the clip you want to add this effect to. Select the audio track that contains your clip, select timeline in the top menu, and click on bounce selected track to new layer. Now you should have an audio clip with five seconds of silence followed by your original dialogue. Next, reverse your audio clip by right-clicking on the clip and selecting Reverse Clip. Then, once again, place in and out points at either end of your clip, select the audio track, select Timeline in the top menu, and select Bounce Selected Tracks to New Layer. Now it's time to add reverb. So open up your effects library, find the reverb plugin, and click and drag it onto your audio clip. Tweak the settings however you want, or just use a preset. I use the Cathedral preset for this video. Then, you guessed it, bounce selected tracks to new layer again. Awesome. At this point, we have an audio clip of me talking backwards with a ton of reverb on it, which is almost what we want, but not quite. Select your audio clip, right click, and choose reverse clip. Now we have what we're going for. The reverb fades in at the beginning, and the words are going the right way. Now, we could leave it like this, but I personally think that the dialogue is a little too hard to understand. To fix this, we're going to take our original audio clip and move it to a new track so that we can mix it together with our reverse reverb clip. To do this, click on View in the top menu and select Show Audio Track Layers. Now we can see all of the different layers on our track. The bottom layer is our original take, so select it, hold down Shift, and drag that take into a new track. Finally, make sure you align the reverse reverb clip with the original, play around with the levels of each until you're happy with your mix, and when all is said and done, you should have something like this. Let's talk about it. So there you go, not the most cut and dry thing in the world, but really fun to play around with. To see some other creepy effects you can do in DaVinci Resolve, click here, and until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching. <laughs>